Smartphone theft has become an epidemic across this country, and some California officials say the solution is to equip phones with a kill switch. They say if a stolen phone can be made inoperable, it's of no value to a thief. But phone makers and carriers disagree. Let's learn more now from CNET editor Tim Stevens. And joining us from San Francisco, District Attorney George Gascon. Good morning to both of you, men. Good morning. So, Tim, let's start off with a kill switch. I actually had a phone stolen, and mm, I talked sorry, to whoever yeah. stole the phone. <laughs> so at that moment, I learned a lot about the kill switch. But yeah. how do you explain it to people? How does it work? Uh, basically, there are multiple ways of going about it. But the simplest way is each phone has a unique identifier applied to it called the IMEI. And basically, one easy way to do it is to create a database across all the carriers and say that if your phone is stolen, you report your phone and its number, and then all carriers agree that any phone with that number will not be allowed on their network, basically making that phone useless. So basically, if you steal it, there's nothing you can do with it. Right. Then the next step beyond that would be to install some sort of software or even a piece of hardware on the phone that would allow you to remotely connect to the phone and then remotely wipe it, really, really totally making it completely useless at that point. Wow. So George, you sponsored the bill introduced yesterday. What do you hope the bill will accomplish? Well, what we're hoping to do is we're hoping to get the industry to pre-enable every single communication device, a mobile communication device, uh, with a feature that allows the user, if the telephone is lost or stolen, to be able to render the phone unuseful and to be able to protect the data in the phone. Uh, we have a global epidemic, uh, you know, thefts of mobile communication devices around the country and around the world are increasing. People are getting hurt. Unfortunately, the industry is making a lot of money through this process, and we're having a real problem. You know, we're, we're not getting carriers to agree to allow to uh, put the solutions into the phones. Uh, carriers are making over $7 billion a year in insurance, and I think many people will speculate that they believe that once a good technical solution so that the consumer can shut off the phone, and the theft epidemic is reduced, it's going to impact their profit line. Mr. District Attorney, how bad is the problem in California? The, the problem is very bad in California. In fact, uh, uh, here in San Francisco uh, this year, uh, we probably over 65% of all thefts or robberies uh, on the street are involved in a mobile communication device. Last year it was about 50%. Nationwide, it's about 30%. About 1.6 million people were the victims of a mobile communication device theft or robbery last year in the U.S. alone. So we're hearing George say that carriers aren't in love with this idea. Right. What are they proposing then? And, and I need to know, do I have to buy a whole new <laughs> phone for whatever there, or is it something I can install on my current phone? Well, that depends on what solution they come up with. The legislation is pretty broad in terms of the actual solution, which is good. It'll allow the carriers and the manufacturers to come up with a solution. But in theory, they could come up with a software-based solution that would basically be an application you'd install on your phone. So even older phones could be basically retrofitted to make that work. Uh, but ultimately, the, the carriers make money r right now. They sell insurance plans so if you lose your phone you know, five bucks or ten bucks a month, something like that, to get a new phone. So they're making money on that, and they don't really want that to go away, but their solution is that simple database plan that I mentioned before. Where basically, they can sort of shut down a phone, but really, I think we need something a bit more secure. We need to actually lock down the phone and actually prevent it from being reused at all. So at the moment, there's no financial incentive for the, for the, for the, the carriers, in effect, to, to do something here. Indeed. If you're paying for insurance, they're making money that way. If you lose your phone, then you have to buy a new phone, and they're making money that way, too. So that's definitely one reason that they may be against this. George, do you think if this legislation passes for you guys in California, it could extend across the country? Is that your hope? Yeah, I, I believe so. I think that California will sort of lead the way. Uh, you know, we have a, a coalition. In fact, uh, the Attorney General from New York, Eddie Schneiderman, and I have been working on this since last year. Uh, we believe that New York is likely to follow. And also, we're, we're hoping that we prompt uh, Congress to act on this. Uh, we know that, for instance, in South Korea, the South Korea government is already talking about making it mandatory to have a kill switch in every phone uh, that is sold in South Korea. We know that similar solutions are being looked uh, upon around the world. This is, you know, I have to emphasize, this is not only a problem in the U.S., this is a global problem. People are getting killed, people are getting hurt. Uh, so you have a huge uh, economic impact to our community, uh, but you're also having a tremendous social impact and, and it's, it's costing us in many different ways. And the only people that are making money right now is the industry. All right, District Attorney George Gascon, Tim Stevens, thank you both very much. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you.